Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali and in this video we are going to learn how we can take input from a user and then how we can display, open the Visual Studio and create new project. Visual C Sharp and console app.net framework and let's give it name to our this so this will be input click OK so our new project is launched successfully which is by the name input output so here we can say console dot write line first we will display a message to the user to please enter your name equals to and make sure to put a semicolon here now how we will uh, get the input from the user so to get the input from a user we can simply write console dot read line so by writing this we can get the input from the user which is console dot read line and now we have to uh, store this uh, input which we are going to get from the user so we have to store it inside a variable so we will say string and let's call this as username equals to okay so we will get the input from the user and we will store it inside this username string data type variable okay now the most important thing which I which I want to tell you guys is that whenever we get input from a user in C sharp then we have to store it inside a string data type variable okay let me write another one then you will understand it and I will show you the difference okay so the second one will be the edge so I will say edge please enter your edge and let's change this to user edge now if I uh, change this string to integer then you will be able to see that we got an error here okay and you can see this reads the next line of characters from the stand, standard input stream so we must uh, take the input from a user and we will store it inside a string data type variable now how we can uh, dis uh, display the output or you can say display the input which we took from the user and how we will display it on the screen back so for that uh, I will simply say here that is console dot write line and then we are going to say your name equals to put this concatenation sign which is plus and the first one is the username and then we can copy paste this or you can also write here but I will write this in the next line and the second one will be edge so your edge equals to user edge okay and now uh, control F5 to execute our code so that we can see either it is working fine or not so you can see that please enter your name so I will enter my name so let's say my name is Mohammed Ali press enter and then it asks please enter your edge so let's say my edge is 20 and I will press enter and you can see that it display my name your name equals to Mohammed Ali and your edge equals to 20 now the next important thing is uh, which we will be learning in this video tutorial is that is let's say if you were asked to perform a multi, um, multiplication on two numbers and we should and we must take these input uh, variables from the user okay so how we will do it I mean here we are getting the input from a user in C sharp uh, using a string data type variable so how we can do that first of all uh, let's create here uh, an integer type variable and we will call the, these variable as num1 which is number one and this num2 okay now the next thing is let's change this to okay and then we are getting the input and we will call this as uh, input one and yeah and the second one will be please enter okay 
and now we are going to give it a name as input 2 okay so we are storing the input inside this input 1 the first number and then the second number inside this uh, second string type string data type variable which is input 2 now we have to uh, convert uh, the input which is input 1 and input 2 we have to convert it to the integer data type variable before we perform multiplication on these two numbers so in order to do that what we're going to do for that we can simply write convert dot capital T dot 2 int i n and you can see this it appears to int 16 to int 32 and to int 64 so you can choose anyone that is to int 16 or to int 32 you can choo choose anyone from these two so I will say to int 16 and then I will pass the first string data type variable which is input 1 so I will say input 1 make sure to put a semicolon and we have to uh, store this first number which we are converting to an integer okay so for that we have created an integer data type variable num1 so here we can simply write num1 equals to okay like that and let's copy this I will say input 2 which is the string data type we can change this to num2 and now let's so now we have to multiply this okay so let's create a variable and we will call it as a result and then after this we can say result equals to num1 multiply num2 and now let's display it back to the user so multiplication result equals to this concatenation sign and we have to display the result variable like that okay you can see this so yeah that's it so what we did here basically we just create integer data type variable num1 num2 and the result variable okay and we just display a message to a user to enter first number and we are getting the input as uh, and we are storing that input in a string data type variable and then we get the second input and we are storing inside the second uh, string data type variable input 2 and we are converting these uh, string to integer okay to int 16 uh, built-in function okay by using that function we are converting the input to integer and we are storing inside this variable num1 which is integer data type and the same we did for the second number or the second input and then we perform multiplication on these two number and we are storing it inside this result uh, integer data type variable and we are displaying the result to the user so press control f5 and now let's enter the first number let's say 2 and the second number 3 and you can see this multiplication result equals to 6 so in this video tutorial you have successfully learned how you can take, take input from a user and also you learn that how you can convert string data type values to integer data type okay so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now